Step 12 is reducing excess float. Now the definition of excess float is very relative. If you have a one-year project, excess float would mean 60, 60 days of total float. However, if you have a one-month project, uh, excess float would be five days. Um, understand the meaning of float. That's the amount of spare time available. Now, um, uh, so it's the amount of spare time available before it affects the critical path, before, before it affects the longest path to the network. Now, if we if we were looking at um, excess float, like we can see this project, we this one um, has, has you know here's this this project's not a long project, but you know we can see we have excess float of uh, 42 days. Um, so that's kind of long. So what we have to ask ourselves is, the first thing we have to ask ourselves is, is it missing a relationship? Is the is the network not closed? Well, it has a both a predecessor and successor, but it's you know it's not um, you know missing a you know missing any relationship. It's not uh, doesn't have an open network, so it has a predecessor successor. But is it um, maybe is there a, a successor? That needs to occur closer to uh, the this activity than what it is. So, um, do we need to add an extra, you know, successor in? And in this case, it makes sense that we do the submittal review, and then we go to deliver the submittal. So the nice thing is we can click this go to button, and go to deliver, and then from delivery we have install the light. And then in light, light it says we install the ceiling tiles. So that actually is not a bad thing. Now this brings up a great point, and the great point is this: is that pre-construction, you know, pre-construction activities like submittals and long lead items, it's okay to have that excess float. Um, how to how to better eat up that excess float is not looking necessarily at the successor, but eating up some of the uh, float on the front end. So uh, from a hundred percent plan review you know if we got 40 days maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll give it 20 days and then we'll reduce that float down to 22 instead of 42 and what we've done is we've now tried to prioritize the submittals by adding those lags in the problem is, is you can create some constraints there so you have to be aware of what you're doing there and uh, it's a good way to prioritize the submittals by adding lag but if we go down to some construction activities, so pre-construction, we're looking probably more on the front end of pushing submittals out. We want to get submittals done as soon as we possibly can, so that's why we're going to have a lot of float. Um, and opinions vary on that one. But you can see there's not really a lot of excess float here. Let's choose one that has 14 days, okay? So we have roof insulation has 14 days. Um, and the roof insulation has a successor of... Uh, touch up which doesn't make a lot of uh, you know sense to me there may be another relationship in there so if we look through it and we say okay well let's look through it logically here and let's say okay after you know roof installation um, you know maybe we want to have uh, roof insulation we want to have um, install exterior siding so we're missing a relationship here so we did the roof installation, now we have the siding, and all of a sudden you see the float went from 14 to 5. So we were missing a relationship there. So this, by going through the excess float numbers, we're able to clearly quantify what uh, activities are in need of attention, either providing some lag to help prioritize submittals or adding in successors. Okay. Um, so uh, the... the uh, you know, we've kind of reviewed the process of, uh, of reducing float. Um, you know, it's important that we go through this step. A lot of people don't go through this step, and that's why you see things like missing relationships or open networks. So in summary, we've talked about reducing excess float. Excess float. Uh, we talked about the definition of excess float, uh, what float means. We said there's two things, ways we can eat up that float. Maybe we're missing a relationship or they're missing a predecessor or successor. So uh, that covers step 12, reducing excess float.